Good evening, and welcome to Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This is your narrator, Miles Luigi. Our heroes have ran into a door which they are unable to open. Unable to proceed and following very simple video game logic, our heroes first try busting down the door and after realizing that, come to the conclusion that perhaps maybe they need a key to open that gate to the creepy steeple. Going into a nearby well, they find a buzzy bill, not much, and immediately run away after finding a giant group of buzzy beetles. They are now on an adventure to find a key. During their adventure to find a key to the gate to the creepy steeple, Mario and friends ran into a very special enemy. Interested in the blossom that they have just found, Mario used a sleepy stomp on them. This blossom here is glittering as if it's golden. Mario recognizes it, but Goombella does not. Goombella looks up. It's an amazing daisy. They are incredibly rare flowers. They are very rarely seen by anyone, however. For anyone who does have the chance to see them, they usually run away from them, as they have an obnoxiously high attack power of 20, which is higher than most anyone has ever seen. Anyone so daring to fight and successfully defeat such a creature, however, is rewarded with a fountain of flowing experience. Adventurers who are foolish to fight such a creature unprepared will either find themselves disappointed because the creature has ran away to never be seen again, or dead as they just got killed by a lullaby. However, adventurers who do prepare can defeat this flower. Most methods to defeat this flower in some way, shape, or form involve hitting it with a status ailment to allow more time to defeat the flower because of its very high HP and one defense. Luck is with our heroes today as they have gotten a Shine Sprite Bingo, which has healed all of their stats. Care must be taken against the Maisie Daisies. Even if they are knocked out with a status ailment, you have to keep in mind of the status ailment that they have been knocked with. For example, if you attack an enemy that is asleep, they have a chance of waking up. Our heroes have prepared for this, as he has equipped a charge badge, which will allow him to store attack power for until the Maisie wakes up, then defeat it in a single turn. Truly a remarkable sight. After frivolously searching for around two hours, Mario and partners decide to go back to the creepy steeple. Perhaps there was something they missed back there. There was a shine sprite behind a tree that they have found on their way back. Back at the gate at the creepy steeple, an interesting oddity is found with the fence. A hole! A hole exists underneath the fence. Mario utilizes his new ability to get underneath such hole. Behind the gate, he finds both a star piece and that the gate wasn't very well secured in the first place and that maybe he should have tried pounding it some more on the other side. Our heroes enter the creepy steeple, an abandoned church, once served as a shrine to, one can assume, the stars of this world, now serves as a shine to a terrible, terrible monster. Mario quickly notices another deviation in the floor and enters into a new room, filled with goodies that can help him with his adventure, including a star piece, a shine sprite, and two treasure chests. Mario carefully opens one of the treasure chests and finds a cookbook, something that he can't really utilize himself. However, finds an Ice Smash as well, which gives him a second of a badge, Ice Smash, which can make his hammer freeze enemies even more effectively than before. Our hero's attention immediately goes to the front of the steeple. A star monument they find. Nothing looks too terribly different about it. However, Mario notices that it looks like it was moved recently. Curious, he decides to move the star back into its original position to find a hole that he falls down. However, he is safe as there is a trampoline at the bottom of the hole. Our hero's attention goes immediately to the wallpaper in the room. That looks incorrect. Going into this new secret, they find themselves 
completely lost in an entirely dark area. Mario asks his most intelligent party member what is going on. Our heroes carefully creep forward to find a small room with a single treasure chest. Mario very carefully opens the treasure chest to find a very valuable badge, a flower saver badge. They run back to their original entrance to the room and go into the one door in the room. They find very little inside this abandoned room except a single different looking treasure chest and another door that is locked. Mario decides to carefully open this treasure chest to find a terrible secret inside. Oh no! Mario has released the monsters into the steeple. The last one decides to ask Mario a question. How many boos did come out of that box? Mario takes a guess and somehow manages to answer that correctly. His reward is an ultra shoot, which he must throw something else away to be able to carry. Mario returns to the first floor of the steeple to find a lone Boo hanging by himself. Mario double checks his equipment and then approaches the Boo very carefully. Of course our hero would never be mean to such a creature, even a Boo. However, the Boo is not interested in playing any fun games. He is interested in playing tricks on Mario. All of his friends appear out of nowhere and they appear to start swirling around Mario. Mario is a little confused and dumbfounded as to what has happened, but soon notices that the boos are starting to attach onto Mario. He quickly spins his hammer around to get them off of him, only to soon realize that he was being mean to the boos. And now that all the boos together were going to attack Mario, will Mario live? <laughs> so Mario unknowingly entered into an optional boss fight many boss fight technically. The Atomic Boo is an unruly enemy whose attacks encompass the entire battlefield. It is impossible for either Mario or his partner engaged in combat to hide from its attacks. A wise choice in any boss or mini-boss battle is to call to the stars for a power lift. Our heroes use this crystal star power to bring the menace they have unleashed to a quick end. With clever use of the Quick Change Badge, Mario powers up one of his partners and brings out the other to learn about the Atomic Boo in front of him. The monster can take up to 40 hit points of damage and has a natural attack power of 4. Many attacks of the Large Boo can render its enemies clocked out or confused, leading to an easy victory for the Giant Boo. Feeling a giant rush of power flowing through him, Mario unleashes one of his most powerful attacks on the creature, a Spin Jump. It proceeds to do massive damage. Also feeling amazing power flowing through him, the Yoshi Child throws his eggs with incredible force at the Atomic Boo. After being hit with multi-hit attacks, the Atomic Boo unleashes his own fury of attacks. However, with the additional shield that was added by the power of the Crystal Stars, only minor damage is done to our heroes. Mario proceeds to finish off the Abomination. The boos that made up the atomic boo scatter away and outside the steeple move far away. All that is left is a badge unknowingly dropped by one of the boos. It is Lucky Start, a badge that can give its user a welcome boost to the start of a new battle. Nothing was found on the lower floor of the steeple. Therefore, Mario proceeds to the door leading to the side of the building. Inside this new corridor is a new enemy that swoops from the ceiling. One may wonder what such an enemy would be called. Since this enemy is normally located on the ceiling, Mario's combat options are limited. He is unable to jump on an enemy like this. However, he can use his newly acquired badge to hurl his hammer at an enemy, even on the ceiling.
interested in the new enemy, Goombella looks in her book for an entry on the enemy. Aha! She has found one! The swooping creature is called a swooper, a name that fits what the enemy does well. Goombella wishes to thank the person who named the creature. While it can be rather boring, Mario utilizes the power of the stars to heal his FP back to full. Because the move only uses a single unit of star power, it can be used in repetition very easily to recover one stats back to full at little cost. After the battle, Mario receives a mushroom. Although he is unable to carry it, he doesn't abandon the mushroom, and instead gives it to one of his party members that could use it. Upon reaching the end of the room, Mario encounters a large red switch. Such switches are trademarked by the Large Switch Alliance Incorporated, also known as the LSAI. After pressing the switch, Mario and his partners hear a rumbling nearby. What could that switch have done? They enter a room with a single staircase inside. Curious, Mario climbs the staircase and enters the door to see what is inside. Our heroes find themselves on the second floor of the main area of the steeple. A creepy image of a monster can be seen on the stained glass window. Unfortunately, the door at the end of the balcony is clearly locked and needs a key. Our heroes are in no mode to spend time looking for a key. However, this time, they have no choice. Hidden in the room with the staircase is another star piece, located within the floor. Mario enters the other side of the building. Inside, he finds another large switch, trademarked by the LSI, in the room and presses it. More rumble and bumble is heard. Curious, Mario hits the switch again, and even more rumble and bumble is heard. Our heroes re-enter the room with a single staircase to find that the staircase has moved down two slots, equal to the number of times Mario has hit the large switch, trademarked by the LSAI. A key! The key to the previous door was located on the other balcony. All our heroes have to do now is move the staircase back, and they will be able to proceed within the steeple. Our heroes find a small hole located on the fence in this room. It would normally be too small for anyone to enter. However, our heroes shrink their size parallel to the hole in the fence and enter the secret inside. Here, they find a glowing tree. While the tree is barren, it drops a valuable leaf, a golden leaf, an item that can be used to restore 10 flower power. The large switch, incorporated by the LSAI, is hit twice again. With the staircase in the correct position, our heroes continue down the path to new areas. More will be found on the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Join me, Miles Luigi, next time. <laughs>